Hey, this man. How you doing? Having a hope you're a great day wherever you are. Um, welcome back to my channel, and it's time for another review. Today I'm going to do the thinning two. Remember a few weeks ago, or probably a month ago now, I did the thinning part one. This is going to be part two of that. Um, just a heads up, there is going to be a big spoiler in this uh, because the second movie like builds on the twist at the end of part one. So the spoiler is going to be what happens at the end of part one because that builds into the second movie. Um, for those of you who have seen it, you know what I'm talking about, but in case you haven't, just bear in mind, I am going to give the big spoiler at the end of number one to give you the review on number two, if that makes any sense at all. Um, let's get into today's review. As always, I will read the plot first, which says, After risking her life to expose the corruption of the thinning test, Lana Michaels, be patent list, becomes the target of Governor Reading's presidential campaign. Blake Reading, trapped and enslaved in a secret underground work camp, must fight to reconnect with Ellie, his presumably dead girlfriend, and do what no fail should have done before, escape. Um, but it's classified as an action, drama, horror, sci-fi thriller. So first up, the thinning one ends. There's a, there's a bit earlier on that's where they're injecting of the... Um, they're injecting, death by injection, basically. And they're, they're injecting of this fluid, and you see, the, you see a shot of the fluid going down, and it stops. It doesn't inject the whole thing. And at first you don't really think much of it, you're just like, oh, okay. At the very end of the first one, one of the main characters supposedly was dead, but then you see him waking up in an elevator, going down to some underground, like, slave labor production area, and sees his girlfriend, or ex-girlfriend at the time, I guess, who was supposed to have died the year before. And then it just ends. And then you're like, huh. So there's number two, which builds on that. It's mainly filmed down underground and all the interactions down there. Um, again, this is quite full on. The first one is as well. Um, there's some cage matches and stuff that happen underground. I don't give too much away. Um, so it is full on. Again, it's still distributed by YouTube. Um, still has YouTube stars, including Leah Marie Johnson and Logan Paul. Um, still has Peyton List as well. Um, so, he's trying to escape. Um, he gets into a bit of trouble down there. Like, he's being, there's this, like, he's trying to get messages to his girlfriend, but the person who's meant to be sending the messages is also working against him with his, like, rival. He has a couple of cage matches and stuff down him. Um, don't want really to give too much of the plot layer, but that's the basics of it. Um, sort of, and there's also a clip, this also ends on a cliffhanger. This came out 2018. There's meant to be a part three, but there's been some issues with Logan Paul video. I read online something about a video of him going into like a people with his people hang themselves and then they find a body or something hanging or something and they'll make their like joking about it and there was a lot of controversy about that and therefore did not want to use him for the third movie I think and I think that kind of stalled production on the third one so that so there's that issue um, I really enjoyed the movie, um, I, at first I thought, oh, YouTube stars, they're not actors, but they do a good job in both number one and number two, so that, yeah, it's that, um, to, again, a little full on, um, but like I said, it probably should be MA, can't find a rating for it, 
I couldn't find a rating for the first one either. Um, I loved it, personally. I think it's great. I think the cinematography is really well done. Um, I, f I, f I think the plot is interesting. Not as interesting as it as the original plot for the first one. This is a bit. This goes on a little bit different path because it's all filmed based on what happens to him underground. Um, and then Ada does go to paint and list characters and what she's doing above ground as well because she in the first movie found out that they were changing scores and stuff. I don't think she knows that people are still alive. I think she finds that out a bit later. And then she does stuff above the surface to try and help Logan and his girlfriend escape. Um, yeah, but the ending, I was, yeah, I, I don't. There's meant to be a third one. Where that happens or not, I don't know. The first one, I believe, was 2016, maybe 15, 16. Second one came out 2018. So if there's a third one, it'll probably come out 2020-ish. If they keep this, trying to keep the same schedule going, um, but like I said, because of the controversial Logan Paul, it may not happen. Personally, hope it does. I hell, I don't care if they change the actor, because I they need to. There needs to be a third part. Again, cliffhanger ending. I'll give. The, I won't tell you the story. But I will tell you the last line. The last line is, "This is war." And it ends. So, yeah. So, yeah. Now you want to go see it and say what? Yeah, it's it's a great movie. Um, great cinematography. Again, uh, my favorite actress. Uh, my favorite people were Peyton List. Again, it's the same thing. The first one, she's good looking. Leah Michelle Johnson is pretty good looking too. So, uh, what can I say? I like I like the blondes. What can I say? Um. Anyway, so yeah. This, so that was the first reason I went to watch it. Plus, it, there's a cliffhanger ending, bit of a plot twist. Wait, she's still alive? Wait, they're both still alive? What? What? What's going on? So, yeah, sorry, really want to see the second one. And, I, and again, because of the cliffhanger ending of the second one, I really want to see the third one. If it happens. Um, I don't have much else to say without giving away the plot too much. Where's my little guy? Little movie review guide thing that I'd kind of go off. Favorite scene. Favorite scene. There's a big fight scene. Well, there's two big fight scenes actually. There's one between Peyton and some woman, which where Peyton kicks ass. It's great. That's one of my favorite scenes. And there's also a cage fighting scene down the work camp, which is, I liked as well because you know there's one guy who's like kind of the alpha male hasn't been beaten. And Logan Paul goes and, and beats him. Yeah, but kind of, I guess it's kind of predictable, but there are good scenes. Um, the rating for this movie. Um, so on IMDb, it got 3.8 stars out of 10 out of 1404 rating, uh, ratings. So not too high. Again. A little bit surprised because I really enjoyed both um, number one and number two of this movie. I enjoyed them both a lot, so I'm again a little surprised by that. That's really interesting. That's yeah. Um, I'm quite surprised by that actually. That's really interesting. I thought it would have been, been a bit higher than that. That's... That's really interesting, actually. Okay, I can't find a score on Twitter, but the reviews are all like... Four, most of them are four or five stars. So... Yeah. Interesting, but I can't actually find a score for it. That's really weird. Yeah. That's really, really, really interesting. Actually, thing I want to point out here is in reviews on Google, um, it says, one person says here, the feeling new to New World is amazing and shocking. 
I would agree with that. It was amazing, and there was some shocking aspects to it. But yeah. So yeah, but I but yeah, I can't find one to score. Maybe, maybe they didn't do it. Um, and it says eighty percent of news on Google like this. So, yeah. Um, yeah, but in, in conclusion, if you haven't seen either of the movies, I definitely recommend going to go see them. They are great movies. Um, like I said, the YouTube stars do a good job of um, acting as opposed to just doing YouTube. Like me, I, I love being an actor, actually. It would be fun, but don't think I'm quite at that level yet. Mind you, I'm not acting on stage. Yeah, different, different. Anyway, I definitely recommend you go see it. Um, let me get the box of stumps. It's a new thing I do. It was just on YouTube bread. It didn't actually go to the box office, so no box of stumps that one. Um, but yeah, it plays. I've said this like play five times, but great movie. Go see it. Go see number one first. Love a single makes sense. Um, hope you enjoyed this review. Um, and tune in next time for because I am seeing Captain Marvel tomorrow, or actually today when you're watching this Saturday evening. So. I know a lot of people have seen it already, I'm a bit behind, but you all subscribe for a reason, so I must be doing something right. Um, so yeah, next one will hopefully be Captain Marvel, hoping to see it tomorrow night with a friend. So tune in next to that one, and I'll see you then. Bye!